it never, I, in a million years, it ever crossed my mind that I would be a rapper. Like, I never tried to, never wanted to. Like, I had friends that went to talent shows and stuff like that. But um, I left, and the next day, I came home from, I went to my grandmother's house from school, and um, she was like, this, she's on the phone, she's like, what? Do you have something in your mouth, young man? I can't hear what you're saying. Like, if anybody that knows why he talks, like, his words, like, really jumble. Like, I don't know. He probably did. He used to chew rocks. Like, Pun had a very hard life, too. He used to literally, he used to live in abandoned buildings, he told me, and he would chew rocks, like, when he was hungry, just, like, to ease his hunger. So, as a millionaire driving around in a Mercedes Benz, he literally would have rocks in the car and, like, out of habit, just, like, chew rocks. So I'm pretty sure he probably had rocks in his mouth. And um, I got on the phone. He's like, yo, what building you said you live in? You live in Castle Hill, right? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, um, what's your building? I'm like, 2245. He's like, yo, come downstairs. So I go downstairs, and he's in front of my building. And he was like, you're not a braid? I'm like, yeah. He's like, of course you're not a braid. All black girls not a braid. Get in the car. So I'm like, OK. <laughs> All black girls don't know how to braid, by the way. But um, I get in the car and he had me do these braids in his hand. So I'm like, where's you going with these braids? He's like, I got a video show, you wanna come? So I'm like, yeah. I'm just like, holy shit. Like, what am I doing here? Like, no one's gonna believe me. First of all, I'm with Pun. He just went double platinum. Like, there's Fat Joe, there's J-Lo. Like, this is just crazy. And from there, he literally would call me every day, take me to the studio with him every day. Um, gave me his, my own song on his album. He put me on a whole nother song and he just like treated me like I was his family.